C++, C++ is a general purpose programming language. It has imperative, object-oriented and generic programming features, while also providing facilities for low-level memory manipulation. It was designed with a bias toward system programming and embedded, resource-constrained and large systems, with performance, efficiency and flexibility of use as its design highlights. C++ has also been found useful in many other contexts, with key strengths being software infrastructure and resource-constrained applications, including desktop applications, servers e.g. e-commerce, web search or SQL servers, and performance-critical applications e.g. telephone switches or space probes. C++ is a compiled language, with implementations of it available on many platforms. Many vendors provide C++ compilers, including the Free Software Foundation, Microsoft, Intel, and IBM. C++ is standardized by the International Organization for Standardization ISO, with the latest standard version ratified and published by ISO in December 2017 as ISO, IEC 14882-2017 informally known as C++17. The C++ programming language was initially standardized in 1998 as ISO, IEC 14882-1998, which was then amended by the C++03, C++11 and C++14 standards. The current C++17 standard supersedes these with new features and an enlarged standard library. Before the initial standardization in 1998, C++ was developed by Bajarne Straustrup at Bell Labs since 1979, as an extension of the C language as he wanted an efficient and flexible language similar to C, which also provided high-level features for program organization. C++20 is the next planned standard thereafter. Many other programming languages have been influenced by C++, including C Sharp, D, Java, and newer versions of C. Topic History Topic In 1979, Bjarne Straustrup, a Danish computer scientist, began work on C with Classes, the predecessor to C++. The motivation for creating a new language originated from Straustrup's experience in programming for his PhD thesis. Straustrup found that Simula had features that were very helpful for large software development, but the language was too slow for practical use, while BCPL was fast but too low level to be suitable for large software development. When Straustrup started working in AT&T Bell Labs, he had the problem of analyzing the Unix kernel with respect to distributed computing. Remembering his PhD experience, Straustrup set out to enhance the C language with Simula-like features. C was chosen because it was general purpose, fast, portable and widely used. As well as C and Simula's influences, other languages also influenced C++, including Algol 68 Ada, CLU and ML. Initially, Straustrup's C with classes added features to the C compiler, CPRE, including classes, derived classes, strong typing, inlining and default arguments. In 1983, C with classes was renamed to C++, being the increment operator in C, adding new features that included virtual functions, function name and operator overloading, references, constants, type safe free store memory allocation, new delete, improved type checking and BCPL style single line comments with two forward slashes. Furthermore, it included the development of a standalone compiler for C++, C Front. In 1985, the first edition of the C++ programming language was released, which became the definitive reference for the language, as there was not yet an official standard. The first commercial implementation of C++ was released in October of the same year. In 1989, C++ 2.0 was released, followed by the updated second edition of the C++ programming language in 1991. New features in 2.0 included multiple inheritance, abstract classes, static member functions, const member functions, and protected members. In 1990, the annotated C++ reference manual was published. This work became the basis for the future standard. Later feature additions included templates, exceptions, namespaces, new casts, and a Boolean type. After the 2.0 update, C++ evolved relatively slowly until, in 2011, the C++11 standard was released, adding numerous new features, enlarging the standard library further, and providing more facilities to C++ programmers. 
After a minor C14 update released in December 2014, various new additions were introduced in C17, and further changes planned for 2020. As of 2017, C remains the third most popular programming language, behind Java and C. On January 3, 2018, Straustrup was announced as the 2018 winner of the Charles Stark Draper Prize for Engineering, for conceptualizing and developing the C programming language. Topic. Etymology Topic. According to Straustrup, the name signifies the evolutionary nature of the changes from C. This name is credited to Rick Machidi mid and was first used in December 1983. When Machidi was questioned informally in 1992 about the naming, he indicated that it was given in a tongue-in-cheek spirit. The name comes from C's plus plus operator which increments the value of a variable and a common naming convention of using plus to indicate an enhanced computer program. During C++'s development period, the language had been referred to as New C and C with classes before acquiring its final name. Topic. Philosophy Topic. Throughout C++'s life, its development and evolution has been guided by a set of principles. It must be driven by actual problems and its features should be useful immediately in real-world programs. Every feature should be implementable with a reasonably obvious way to do so. Programmers should be free to pick their own programming style, and that style should be fully supported by C++. Allowing a useful feature is more important than preventing every possible misuse of C++. It should provide facilities for organizing programs into well-defined separate parts, and provide facilities for combining separately developed parts. No implicit violations of the type system, but allow explicit violations, that is, those explicitly requested by the programmer. User-created types need to have the same support and performance as built-in types. Unused features should not negatively impact created executables e.g. in lower performance. There should be no language beneath C++ except assembly language. C++ should work alongside other existing programming languages, rather than fostering its own separate and incompatible programming environment. If the programmer's intent is unknown, allow the programmer to specify it by providing manual control. Topic. Standardization Topic. C++ is standardized by an ISO working group known as JTC1, SC22, WG21. So far, it has published five revisions of the C++ standard and is currently working on the next revision, C++20. In 1998, the ISO working group standardized C++ for the first time as ISO, IEC 14882-1998, which is informally known as C++98. In 2003, it published a new version of the C++ standard called ISO, IEC 14882-2003, which fixed problems identified in C++ 98. The next major revision of the standard was informally referred to as C++ 0x, but it was not released until 2011. C++ 11 14882 included many additions to both the core language and the standard library. In 2014, C++ 14 also known as C++ 1Y was released as a small extension to C++ 11, featuring mainly bug fixes and small improvements. The draft international standard ballot procedures completed in mid-August 2014. After C++14, a major revision C++17, informally known as C++1Z, was completed by the ISO C++ committee in mid-July 2017 and was approved and published in December 2017. As part of the standardization process, ISO also publishes technical reports and specifications. ISO, IEC TR 18015-2006 on the use of C++ in embedded systems and on performance implications of C++ language and library features 
ISO IECTR 19768 to 2007, also known as the C++ Technical Report 1 on library extensions mostly integrated into C++11. ISO IECTR 29124 to 2010 on special mathematical functions. ISO IECTR 24733 to 2011 on decimal floating point arithmetic. ISO IEC TS 18822 to 2015 on the standard file system library. ISO IEC TS 19570 to 2015 on parallel versions of the standard library algorithms. ISO IEC TS 19841 to 2015 on software transactional memory. ISO IEC TS 19568 to 2015 on a new set of library extensions, some of which are already integrated into C++17. ISO IEC TS 19217 to 2015 on the C++ concepts. More technical specifications are in development and pending approval, including concurrency library extensions, a networking standard library, ranges, and modules. Topic. Language Topic. The C++ language has two main components, a direct mapping of hardware features provided primarily by the C subset, and zero overhead abstractions based on those mappings. Straustrup describes C++ as a lightweight abstraction programming language designed for building and using efficient and elegant abstractions. And Offering both hardware access and abstraction is the basis of C++. Doing it efficiently is what distinguishes it from other languages. C++ inherits most of C's syntax. The following is Bajarne Straustrup's version of the Hello World program that uses the C++ standard library stream facility to write a message to standard output. Topic. Object storage. Topic. As in C, C++ supports four types of memory management, static storage duration objects, thread storage duration objects, automatic storage duration objects, and dynamic storage duration objects. Topic. Static storage duration objects Topic. Static storage duration objects are created before main is entered see exceptions below and destroyed in reverse order of creation after main exits. The exact order of creation is not specified by the standard though there are some rules defined below to allow implementation some freedom in how to organize their implementation. More formally, objects of this type have a lifespan that shall last for the duration of the program. Static storage duration objects are initialized in two phases. First, Static initialization is performed, and only after all static initialization is performed. Dynamic initialization is performed. In static initialization, all objects are first initialized with zeros, after that, all objects that have a constant initialization phase are initialized with the constant expression, i.e., variables initialized with a literal or constxpr. Though it is not specified in the standard, the static initialization phase can be completed at compile time and saved in the data partition of the executable. Dynamic initialization involves all object initialization done via a constructor or function call, unless the function is marked with constxpr, in C++11. The dynamic initialization order is defined as the order of declaration within the compilation unit i.e. the same file. No guarantees are provided about the order of initialization between compilation units. Topic. Thread storage duration objects Topic. Variables of this type are very similar to static storage duration objects. The main difference is the creation time is just prior to thread creation and destruction is done after the thread has been joined. Topic. Automatic storage duration objects Topic. The most common variable types in C++ are local variables inside a function or block, and temporary variables. The common feature about automatic variables is that they have a lifetime that is limited to the scope of the variable. 
They are created and potentially initialized at the point of declaration see below for details and destroyed in the reverse order of creation when the scope is left. This is implemented by allocation on the stack. Local variables are created as the point of execution passes the declaration point. If the variable has a constructor or initializer this is used to define the initial state of the object. Local variables are destroyed when the local block or function that they are declared in is closed. C++ destructors for local variables are called at the end of the object lifetime, allowing a discipline for automatic resource management termed RAII, which is widely used in C++. Member variables are created when the parent object is created. Array members are initialized from zero to the last member of the array in order. Member variables are destroyed when the parent object is destroyed in the reverse order of creation. I.e., if the parent is an automatic object, then it will be destroyed when it goes out of scope which triggers the destruction of all its members. Temporary variables are created as the result of expression evaluation and are destroyed when the statement containing the expression has been fully evaluated usually at the, at the end of a statement. Topic. Dynamic storage duration objects Topic. These objects have a dynamic lifespan and are created with a call to new and destroyed explicitly with a call to delete. Topic. Templates Topic. C++ templates enable generic programming. C++ supports function, class, alias and variable templates. Templates may be parameterized by types, compile time constants, and other templates. Templates are implemented by instantiation at compile time. To instantiate a template, compilers substitute specific arguments for a template's parameters to generate a concrete function or class instance. Some substitutions are not possible, these are eliminated by an overload resolution policy described by the phrase, substitution failure is not an error. SFINAE. Templates are a powerful tool that can be used for generic programming, template metaprogramming, and code optimization, but this power implies a cost. Template use may increase code size, because each template instantiation produces a copy of the template code, one for each set of template arguments, however, this is the same or smaller amount of code that would be generated if the code was written by hand. This is in contrast to runtime generics seen in other languages e.g., Java, where at compile time the type is erased and a single template body is preserved. Templates are different from macros. While both of these compile time language features enable conditional compilation, templates are not restricted to lexical substitution. Templates are aware of the semantics and type system of their companion language, as well as all compile time type definitions, and can perform high level operations including programmatic flow control based on evaluation of strictly type checked parameters. Macros are capable of conditional control over compilation based on predetermined criteria, but cannot instantiate new types, recurse, or perform type evaluation and in effect are limited to pre-compilation text substitution and text inclusion, exclusion. In other words, macros can control compilation flow based on predefined symbols but cannot, unlike templates, independently instantiate new symbols. Templates are a tool for static polymorphism see below, and generic programming. In addition, templates are a compile time mechanism in C++ that is Turing complete, meaning that any computation expressible by a computer program can be computed, in some form, by a template metaprogram prior to runtime. In summary, a template is a compile time parameterized function or class written without knowledge of the specific arguments used to instantiate it. After instantiation, the resulting code is equivalent to code written specifically for the past arguments. In this manner, templates provide a way to decouple generic, broadly applicable aspects of functions and classes encoded in templates from specific aspects encoded in template parameters without sacrificing performance due to abstraction. Topic. Objects Topic. C++ introduces object-oriented programming OOP features to C. It offers classes, which provide the four features commonly present in OOP and some non-OOP languages, abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. 
One distinguishing feature of C++ classes compared to classes in other programming languages is support for deterministic destructors, which in turn provide support for the resource acquisition as initialization concept. Encapsulation <inaudible> 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 Encapsulation is the hiding of information to ensure that data structures and operators are used as intended and to make the usage model more obvious to the developer. C++ provides the ability to define classes and functions as its primary encapsulation mechanisms. Within a class, members can be declared as either public, protected, or private to explicitly enforce encapsulation. A public member of the class is accessible to any function. A private member is accessible only to functions that are members of that class and to functions and classes explicitly granted access permission by the class. Friends. A protected member is accessible to members of classes that inherit from the class in addition to the class itself and any friends. The object-oriented principle ensures the encapsulation of all and only the functions that access the internal representation of a type. C++ supports this principle via member functions and friend functions, but it does not enforce it. Programmers can declare parts or all of the representation of a type to be public, and they are allowed to make public entities not part of the representation of a type. Therefore, C++ supports not just object-oriented programming, but other decomposition paradigms such as modular programming. It is generally considered good practice to make all data private or protected, and to make public only those functions that are part of a minimal interface for users of the class. This can hide the details of data implementation, allowing the designer to later fundamentally change the implementation without changing the interface in any way. Topic. Inheritance Topic. Inheritance allows one data type to acquire properties of other data types. Inheritance from a base class may be declared as public, protected, or private. This access specifier determines whether unrelated and derived classes can access the inherited public and protected members of the base class. Only public inheritance corresponds to what is usually meant by inheritance. The other two forms are much less frequently used. If the access specifier is omitted, a class inherits privately, while a struct inherits publicly. Base classes may be declared as virtual, this is called virtual inheritance. Virtual inheritance ensures that only one instance of a base class exists in the inheritance graph, avoiding some of the ambiguity problems of multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance is a C++ feature not found in most other languages, allowing a class to be derived from more than one base class. This allows for more elaborate inheritance relationships. For example, a flying cat class can inherit from both cat and flying mammal. Some other languages, such as C# -sharp or Java, accomplish something similar, although more limited, by allowing inheritance of multiple interfaces while restricting the number of base classes to one. Interfaces, unlike classes, provide only declarations of member functions, no implementation or member data. An interface as in C# -sharp and Java can be defined in C++ as a class containing only pure virtual functions, often known as an abstract base class or ABC. The member functions of such an abstract base class are normally explicitly defined in the derived class, not inherited implicitly. C++ virtual inheritance exhibits an ambiguity resolution feature called dominance. Topic operators and operator overloading topic C++ provides more than 35 operators, covering basic arithmetic, bit manipulation, indirection, comparisons, logical operations and others. Almost all operators can be overloaded for user-defined types, with a few notable exceptions such as member access, and, asterisk, as well as the conditional operator. The rich set of overloadable operators is central to making user-defined types in C++ seem like built-in types. Overloadable operators are also an essential part of many advanced C++ programming techniques, such as smart pointers. Overloading an operator does not change the precedence of calculations involving the operator, nor does it change the number of operands that the operator uses any operand may however be ignored by the operator, though it will be evaluated prior to execution. Overloaded and an and operators lose their short-circuit evaluation property. Topic polymorphism Topic Polymorphism enables one common interface for many implementations, and for objects to act differently under different circumstances. 
C++ supports several kinds of static resolved at compile time and dynamic resolved at run time polymorphisms, supported by the language features described above. Compile time polymorphism does not allow for certain run time decisions, while run time polymorphism typically incurs a performance penalty. Topic static polymorphism topic Function overloading allows programs to declare multiple functions having the same name but with different arguments i.e. ad hoc polymorphism. The functions are distinguished by the number or types of their formal parameters. Thus, the same function name can refer to different functions depending on the context in which it is used. The type returned by the function is not used to distinguish overloaded functions and would result in a compile time error message. When declaring a function, a programmer can specify for one or more parameters a default value. Doing so allows the parameters with defaults to optionally be omitted when the function is called, in which case the default arguments will be used. When a function is called with fewer arguments than there are declared parameters, explicit arguments are matched to parameters in left to right order, with any unmatched parameters at the end of the parameter list being assigned their default arguments. In many cases, specifying default arguments in a single function declaration is preferable to providing overloaded function definitions with different numbers of parameters. Templates in C++ provide a sophisticated mechanism for writing generic, polymorphic code i.e. parametric polymorphism. In particular, through the curiously recurring template pattern, it's possible to implement a form of static polymorphism that closely mimics the syntax for overriding virtual functions. Because C++ templates are type-aware and Turing-complete, they can also be used to let the compiler resolve recursive conditionals and generate substantial programs through template metaprogramming. Contrary to some opinion, template code will not generate a bulk code after compilation with the proper compiler settings. Topic. Dynamic polymorphism Topic. Topic. Inheritance Topic. Variable pointers and references to a base class type in C++ can also refer to objects of any derived classes of that type. This allows arrays and other kinds of containers to hold pointers to objects of differing types references cannot be directly held in containers. This enables dynamic runtime polymorphism, where the referred objects can behave differently depending on their actual derived types. C++ also provides the dynamic underscore cast operator, which allows code to safely attempt conversion of an object, via a base reference, pointer, to a more derived type, downcasting. The attempt is necessary as often one does not know which derived type is referenced. Upcasting, conversion to a more general type, can always be checked, performed at compile time via static underscore cast, as ancestral classes are specified in the derived classes interface, visible to all callers. Dynamic underscore cast relies on runtime type information, RTTI, metadata in the program that enables differentiating types and their relationships. If a dynamic underscore cast to a pointer fails, the result is the null ptr constant, whereas if the destination is a reference which cannot be null, the cast throws an exception. Objects known to be of a certain derived type can be cast to that with static underscore cast, bypassing RTTI and the safe runtime type checking of dynamic underscore cast, so this should be used only if the programmer is very confident the cast is, and will always be, valid. Topic. Virtual member functions Topic. Ordinarily, when a function in a derived class overrides a function in a base class, the function to call is determined by the type of the object. A given function is overridden when there exists no difference in the number or type of parameters between two or more definitions of that function. Hence, at compile time, it may not be possible to determine the type of the object and therefore the correct function to call, given only a base class pointer, the decision is therefore put off until runtime. This is called dynamic dispatch. Virtual member functions or methods allow the most specific implementation of the function to be called, according to the actual runtime type of the object. In C++ implementations, this is commonly done using virtual function tables. If the object type is known, this may be bypassed by prepending a fully qualified class name before the function call, but in general calls to virtual functions are resolved at runtime. In addition to standard member functions, operator overloads and destructors can be virtual. As a rule of thumb, if any function in the class is virtual, the destructor should be as well. 
as the type of an object at its creation is known at compile time, constructors, and by extension copy constructors, cannot be virtual. Nonetheless a situation may arise where a copy of an object needs to be created when a pointer to a derived object is passed as a pointer to a base object. In such a case, a common solution is to create a clone or similar virtual function that creates and returns a copy of the derived class when called. A member function can also be made pure virtual by appending it with equals zero after the closing parenthesis and before the semicolon. A class containing a pure virtual function is called an abstract class. Objects cannot be created from an abstract class, they can only be derived from. Any derived class inherits the virtual function as pure and must provide a non-pure definition of it and all other pure virtual functions before objects of the derived class can be created. A program that attempts to create an object of a class with a pure virtual member function or inherited pure virtual member function is ill-formed. Lambda expressions C++ provides support for anonymous functions, also known as lambda expressions, with the following form. The capture list supports the definition of closures. Such lambda expressions are defined in the standard as syntactic sugar for an unnamed function object. An example lambda function may be defined as follows. Topic: Exception handling. Topic: Exception handling is used to communicate the existence of a runtime problem or error from where it was detected to where the issue can be handled. It permits this to be done in a uniform manner and separately from the main code, while detecting all errors. Should an error occur, an exception is thrown raised, which is then caught by the nearest suitable exception handler. The exception causes the current scope to be exited, and also each outer scope propagation until a suitable handler is found, calling in turn the destructors of any objects in these exited scopes. At the same time, an exception is presented as an object carrying the data about the detected problem. Note that many C++ styles, like Google's, forbid usage of exceptions in C++ programs, restricting the language thusly. The exception causing code is placed inside a try block. The exceptions are handled in separate catch blocks, the handlers. Each try block can have multiple exception handlers, as it is visible in the example below. It is also possible to raise exceptions purposefully, using the throw keyword. These exceptions are handled in the usual way. In some cases, exceptions cannot be used due to technical reasons. One such example is a critical component of an embedded system, where every operation must be guaranteed to complete within a specified amount of time. This cannot be determined with exceptions as no tools exist to determine the maximum time required for an exception to be handled. Topic. Standard library Topic. The C++ standard consists of two parts, the core language and the standard library. C++ programmers expect the latter on every major implementation of C++. It includes aggregate types vectors, lists, maps, sets, queues, stacks, arrays, tuples, algorithms find, for underscore each, binary underscore search, random underscore shuffle, etc., input-output facilities iostream, for reading from and writing to the console and files, file system library, localization support, smart pointers for automatic memory management, regular expression support, multi-threading library, atomic support allowing a variable to be read or written to by at most one thread at a time without any external synchronization, time utilities measurement, getting current time, etc., a system for converting error reporting that doesn't use C++ exceptions into C++ exceptions, a random number generator and a slightly modified version of the C standard library to make it comply with the C++ type system. A large part of the C++ library is based on the standard template library STL. Useful tools provided by the STL include containers as the collections of objects such as vectors and lists, iterators that provide array-like access to containers, and algorithms that perform operations such as searching and sorting. Furthermore, multi maps associative arrays and multi sets are provided, all of which export compatible interfaces. Therefore, using templates it is possible to write generic algorithms that work with any container or on any sequence defined by iterators. 
as in C, the features of the library are accessed by using the hashtag include directive to include a standard header. The C++ standard library provides 105 standard headers, of which 27 are deprecated. The standard incorporates the STL that was originally designed by Alexander Stepanov, who experimented with generic algorithms and containers for many years. When he started with C++, he finally found a language where it was possible to create generic algorithms e STL sort that perform even better than, for example, the C standard library Q sort, thanks to C++ features like using inlining and compile time binding instead of function pointers. The standard does not refer to it as STL. As it is merely a part of the standard library, but the term is still widely used to distinguish it from the rest of the standard library input, output streams, internationalization, diagnostics, the C library subset, etc. Most C++ compilers, and all major ones, provide a standards conforming implementation of the C++ standard library. Topic. Compatibility Topic. To give compiler vendors greater freedom, the C++ Standards Committee decided not to dictate the implementation of name mangling, exception handling, and other implementation-specific features. The downside of this decision is that object code produced by different compilers is expected to be incompatible. There were, however, attempts to standardize compilers for particular machines or operating systems for example C++ Abbey, though they seem to be largely abandoned now. Topic. With C Topic. C++ is often considered to be a superset of C, but this is not strictly true. Most C code can easily be made to compile correctly in C++, but there are a few differences that cause some valid C code to be invalid or behave differently in C++. For example, C allows implicit conversion from void asterisk to other pointer types, but C++ does not for type safety reasons. Also, C++ defines many new keywords, such as new and class, which may be used as identifiers for example, variable names in a C program. Some incompatibilities have been removed by the 1999 revision of the C standard C99, which now supports C++ features such as line comments, and declarations mixed with code. On the other hand, C99 introduced a number of new features that C++ did not support, were incompatible or redundant in C++, such as variable length arrays, native complex number types however, the STD, complex class in the C++ standard library provides similar functionality, although not code compatible, designated initializers, compound literals, and the restrict keyword. Some of the C99 introduced features were included in the subsequent version of the C++ standard, C++11 out of those which were not redundant. However, the C++11 standard introduces new incompatibilities, such as disallowing assignment of a string literal to a character pointer, which remains valid C. To intermix C and C++ code, any function declaration or definition that is to be called from, used both in C and C++ must be declared with C linkage by placing it within an extern. C asterisk asterisk block. Such a function may not rely on features depending on name mangling i.e., function overloading. Topic. Criticism Topic. Despite its widespread adoption, some notable programmers have criticized the C++ language, including Linus Torvalds, Richard Stallman, Joshua Bloch, Ken Thompson, and Donald Knuth. One of the most often criticized points of C++ is its perceived complexity as a language, with the criticism that a large number of non-orthogonal features in practice necessitates restricting code to subset of C++, thus eschewing the readability benefits of common style and idioms. As expressed by Joshua Bloch, I think C++ was pushed well beyond its complexity threshold and yet there are a lot of people programming it. But what you do is you force people to subset it. So almost every shop that I know of that uses C++ says, yes, we're using C++ but we're not doing multiple implementation inheritance and we're not using operator overloading. There are just a bunch of features that you're not going to use because the complexity of the resulting code is too high and I don't think it's good when you have to start doing that. You lose this programmer portability where everyone can read everyone else's code, which I think is such a good thing. 
Donald Knuth 1993, commenting on pre-standardized C++, who said of Edsger Dijkstra that, "...to think of programming in C++ would make him physically ill. The problem that I have with them today is that C++ is too complicated. At the moment, it it's impossible for me to write portable code that I believe would work on lots of different systems, unless I avoid all exotic features. Whenever the C++ language designers had two competing ideas as to how they should solve some problem, they said, OK, we LL do them both. So the language is too baroque for my taste. Ken Thompson, who was a colleague of Straustrup at Bell Labs, gives his assessment, it certainly has its good points. But by and large I think it's a bad language. It does a lot of things half well and it's just a garbage heap of ideas that are mutually exclusive. Everybody I know, whether it's personal or corporate, selects a subset and these subsets are different. So it's not a good language to transport an algorithm. To say, I wrote it, here, take it. It's way too big, way too complex. And it's obviously built by a committee. Straustrup campaigned for years and years and years, way beyond any sort of technical contributions he made to the language, to get it adopted and used. And he sort of ran all the standards committees with a whip and a chair. And he said, no, to no one. He put every feature in that language that ever existed. It wasn't cleanly designed. It was just the union of everything that came along. And I think it suffered drastically from that. However Brian Kernighan, also a colleague at Bell Labs, disputes this assessment. C++ has been enormously influential. Lots of people say C++ is too big and too complicated etc etc but in fact it is a very powerful language and pretty much everything that is in there is there for a really sound reason. It is not somebody doing random invention, it is actually people trying to solve real world problems. Now a lot of the programs that we take for granted today, that we just use, are C++ programs. Straustrup himself comments that, Within C++, there is a much smaller and cleaner language struggling to get out. Other complaints may include a lack of reflection or garbage collection, slow compilation times, perceived feature creep, and verbose error messages, particularly from template metaprogramming. Topic. See also Topic. Comparison of programming languages List of C++ compilers Outline of C++ C++ libraries category Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Topic. External links Topic. JTC1, SC22, WG21 The ISO, IEC C++ Standard Working Group Standard C++ Foundation, a non-profit organization that promotes the use and understanding of standard C++. Bajarne Straustrup is a director of the organization.